Hi everyone, my name is Christy Funk and obviously you're here because you purchased Gerald Rogers' amazing new book, Their Marriage Advice I Wish I Would Have Had. He is a really dear friend and what a powerful insight um, that he gives on marriage and, and, and just a speaker and an author and just a wonderful human being. So I am just deeply honored to be sharing space with him on this journey with his new book, which is going to reach so many people. And when I heard that he was, um, his mission was to save a thousand marriages, I thought, this is amazing work. So um, bravo to you for purchasing the book. And I hope that what I'm offering as a bonus is going to be kind of like a um, an addition to his book as he carries on his work and as you, whether you are married or not, I think everybody should be reading this book. I wish I would have had this book. Um, three years into a separation and moving into a divorce, um, this is something that I wish I really would have had the insight. I feel like I know more now about relationships than I did when I was in my marriage. Obviously, I've learned a lot. And the most powerful thing for me after my marriage was finding out that I needed to love myself, that I was putting myself on the back burner. And in that process, I lost myself and lost my connection to my spouse. So self-love is definitely the buzzword. Um, even celebrities are talking about it in every magazine I read. It's, oh, it's all about self-love. Well, what what is this self-love? What, what does it mean? And before we get into the hot and sexy tips and benefits um, of radical self-love, I just want to give you an understanding of what it means to me and how it transformed me in such a significant way. When I realized that I was so depleted, um, I started to look at the avenues of where that was coming from, where was I not feeding myself? Literally and um, spiritually, soulfully, and as a woman, I found myself struggling. Who am I now? I'm no longer a wife. I'm still a mother. Um, I, I lost my business, so I was no longer a business owner. And who, who is this woman? Who is this woman that has been giving to the community and to her family and feeling completely wiped out? Um, several years ago, I was actually so wiped out uh, we had come back from a trip to uh, to Spain. That's where my ex is from, and we were. I was having a hard time even finding breath and um, just finding myself laying on the couch, just completely wiped out and wondering what was going on. And for a good year, I was being tossed between conventional and holistic doctors, and um, they really couldn't do anything for me. They just said it was stress. Well. That wasn't enough for me. My adrenals had crashed. My hormones had gone all over the place. I was so exhausted from giving that my body shut down and said, Christy, you need to take a look at what's going on. So I had to make radical lifestyle changes. I had to restructure my business, restructure everything about my day so that I was making sure that I had the basic things like food, <laughs> shelter, rest, and joy and I was finding that all of those things were missing in my life so in the last three years I've really learned to tune into myself as creative spirit um, find my way in the world as a woman as sensual feminine woman and how I can do those things for myself so that I'm able to do more for others and this is the key radical self-love is not about consuming love for yourself. It's getting to a place where you have this love for yourself that your heart actually opens up so that you're ready to give. It's not just about receiving. Just like in a relationship, it's not just about receiving. It's not about having those expectations met. It's about how can I show up into this space in pure love. And so the journey is very interesting, especially when we as women, and of course men do this as well, but we as women just give and give and give. Look at how when we birth, we give of our bodies and we nurse our babies. We continually give of our bodies. Um, the burnt toast is for mom. The babies get the, the best of the best. So when you are able to 
understand your priority, whether you are married or not, as a as a human being, this is for men and women, we need to learn how to take care of ourselves, our beauty temples, how, and there's so many different ways. Um, how are we tuning into our needs? Are we working to mask, not dealing with our stuff? Are we distracting ourselves with things that are not allowing us to go inside? We've got to go inside and find out where along the way we were made to feel we were less than. When you understand that trigger point, you're able to work through there and get to this place of like, you know what, I am okay. I am 100% okay. I am perfect in my imperfections. And coming to that realization lifts up a lot of baggage that you've probably been carrying around for you for years and years and years. And so when we understand and work through those blocks and through those triggers and through childhood traumas, whatever it was, it could have been a teacher that said, you know what, your nose is too big or called you stupid, whatever it was, something in your path came into your life and said, you were not enough. And I'm here to tell you that you are enough, but I'm also here to tell you that you need to find out how you are enough. So now let's assume that you've done this radical self-love work that um, I teach and promote and, and lead workshops and retreats on, but let's say that you're already at that point. How do the benefits of radical self-love mean in regards to hot and sexy life with your partner, your lover, your beloved, whoever it is? You cannot give from an empty well. Passionately, sensually, you cannot really full, uh, show, show up fully. And I'm obviously talking mostly about females, but this also is definitely related to men. Like how can men be the masculine and be that powerful force in that passionate lifestyle, love, love life. But for women, since I am a woman, I could not give to my lover, to my significant other, to whoever it is, if I didn't feel yummy and sensual. As you fall in love with yourself, the most exciting thing is being your own best lover. How exciting is that, that you have everything you need to fulfill those needs passionately and sensually? Obviously, it's more exciting with a partner, but falling in love with yourself means falling in love with your body as is. And if you're not in love with your body as is, fix it. Lose the weight, do the exercise, whatever it is. I actually have gone through a significant transformation in how I approach myself as a woman. I realized that I'm a very feminine woman and I wanted to care for myself. I started to do things that I wasn't doing in my marriage, which was taking time to pamper and just get ready. Even if I was going to the market, it was very important for me. My shower time, bath time is about sensual oils and, and exfoliating and using clean organic products on my face, in my mouth. Everything is clean and high vibrational. You cannot be a mirror of love if you are operating from a lower um, vibration. If you're eating junk food and smoking too much or way too much pot or way too much um, alcohol, you're going to be down here. That's not where I choose to live my life and I find that the higher vibration I'm operating, the more I'm able to give. So it's very sexy to take care of yourself. It's very sexy to make better choices in your food and in the products that you consume. I'm an eco-beauty stylist. I'm telling women this all the time. Those toxic chemicals are directly related to very specific cancers. Why would you put your body through that? So taking care of yourself when you love yourself, you're going to do the best that you can with what you're given. So take those sexy pictures and put on that sensual oil before you do it, even if those pictures are for yourself. I did three um, different boudoir shot, uh, shoots with um, some really great photographers in the area. It was so liberating. I was so scared the first time, but it was a gift for me to see what I am visually for myself. 
and how exciting. And I treated those shoots as if I was preparing for my lover. And it was exciting to get the panties and the, the oils and make sure I smelled good and take care of my hair to the makeup, the whole nine yards, very femmy. So do whatever it is to make you feel super sensual, which is a program I'm offering next year. But being super sensual is how we do everything in life. It's how we prepare a table, how we pack a picnic when we're going, whether it's with our children or our girlfriends or our lover. It's how we create beauty wherever we go. The more you love yourself, the more you have to give. So it's so sexy when a woman is standing in her feminine power. It's so sexy for a man because then we create that space to cradle our men when we are in that divine right as a female woman, as a goddess, as, as a warrior. We are a thousand women bottled into one. How do we express that to the outside world? So the more you love yourself, the more you give to others, and the more passionately you do that, the more you come into your authentic self. So you need to discover what is it that lights you up. So you're taking care of those past triggers that made you feel less than, and now you realize you're okay. You're perfect as is. Then you start to nurture and nourish this beauty temple and really feel sensual in your body and move and dance and do yoga and eat well and create joy. And then you start to create beauty wherever you go. You pack beautiful picnics. You, you give a gift that's wrapped with beautiful flowers. You buy yourself flowers. You date yourself. You take yourself all dressed up and sassy assy to a movie, to a dinner. You do these things and your body is going to move into that vibration. And guess what that does? For the men, it's just, for a masculine man, it's just this amazing vibration that you put off into the world. And once you get that partner, or if you already have that partner, you're able to really fully be alive. And this is where, as the Hot and Sexy Secrets, in the bedroom is that you will attract that person that vibrates at your same level. And maybe not exactly, but that's part of this experimentation of love is discovering along the way, if you're out of a marriage or if you're in a marriage, how to recreate that romance. So if you're in a relationship, if you're in a marriage that's on the edge, recreate yourself, ladies. You hold that beautiful power as this, this amazing lotus flower that's ready to bloom. And if for somehow along the way you've just been holding it back, you're too tired, the kids, the breastfeeding, this, that, and I get it because I've got two children, so I get it. This did not look like this when I was married. Had I known that I could have just recreated myself and men love the pursuit of new and I know this sounds awful but if you look at it if you go into a relationship looking a certain way and as long as time goes on you're starting not to look like yourself you've gained weight you're in sweats you're not taking care of yourself men are visual <laughs> as a feminine woman it's so important to keep those visuals alive to just make sure that you're constantly seducing him and enticing him and exciting him. You don't want him to be going somewhere else for that. That's not the point of a joint relationship. You want to continually give him this excitement. And it, that's part of when, if you're depleted and you're not loving yourself, you're not able to show up in your relationship like that. And that's where marriages and relationships fail. So as you are coming into this beautiful space, you are constantly recreating that for your lover, your spouse, your significant other. And in turn, you are igniting that masculine, that cowboy, that, that, that strong man that's going to really hold space for you. As feminine women, we need to take back our power. And I don't mean power as an aggressive male 
part. But as this feminine role that we have, we are soft and nurturing and, and sensual. There's so much power in that because what it does to a man is it allows them to protect us and hold space for us. And in turn, we're able to cradle them when they're wanting to be vulnerable. And sensuality, sexuality, sedu seduction, flirtate, all of those can't come from a woman that's depleted. It can't come from a man that's overworked and underappreciated. So radical self-love is just more than loving yourself and consuming it for yourself. It's really about how can we fill our well so that we were able to share it with others around us. And so I hope that um, you're really understanding the importance. It's not selfish to love yourself. It's actually selfish to betray yourself and to, um, to, to work from that low vibration. And when you're just wanting to consume, 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 you're going to stay at that. You're going to stay at that level of not giving to the one that you want to. And I mean, love really makes the world go around. So take a look at how you are approaching, first of all, yourself, because you can't be with another if you can't be with yourself. And if you can't be honest and true with how you maybe gypped yourself and how you may have had a part in the demise of your relationship or your marriage. Very significant. And so the hot and sexy secrets of radical self-love really are about coming into this body and um, exploring it, adorning it, appreciating it, and gifting it. And gifting it in so many ways on how... Um, vibrationally you're going to be able to show up in a room and to a dinner party or a, a barbecue and people will be attracted to that because a woman and a man that are taking care of themselves really says a lot about their priorities not over the top like where you're obsessed with it because that's a whole different thing but how you're really caring for it because you've got one short life right you're you're living big because you're already with Gerald and so if you're living big that means you're also really appreciating who you are on this planet. It's an exciting life. And to me, there's nothing, I'm Latina, so of course sensuality is a huge thing. It's, it's infused in everything we do, our art, our music, our, our food, our dance. So start to dance with your own self in this badass life and just see how exciting it is for your partner as you start to come into owning that, that that delicious part of yourself. So there's nothing that pleases me more than packing this beautiful picnic and going to a park and just sitting there and feeding someone that you love. And um, and it's okay to be feminine. I mean, that's a whole part of my, my other work that I'll be doing because I, I've found that we have created, with the feminist movement, we have created women that have become alpha male, alpha females. And it's like, earn like a man, work like a man, and be a man. I don't want to be a man. It doesn't mean I'm not powerful. It doesn't mean I'm not capable. But I love this soft, nourishing part of me. And I could only discover this after my marriage and after falling in love with me and saying, I'm okay. I'm perfect as is. And if I'm not as perfect as I want to be, I have the power and the choice to change it at any moment. I can cut my hair. I can get a six pack abs if I wanted to. I could, and not that you have to do any of those things, but it's your expectations for yourself of how you want to express yourself in the world. So it's so yummy, and it really is so beneficial um, in our relationships to be able to take this beautiful person that you are, male or female, and um, take care of yourself, love yourself, so you can show up in your relationship with the ability and the wanting of giving more than you receive. That's the key. When you are with somebody that you want 
more for them than what you want for you, you are in a healthy relationship. And so take these hot and healthy, hot and sexy um, tips from Radical Self Love and you can visit me on christyfunk.com, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y-F-U-N-K.com. And I'm on Facebook. My private page is actually more um, frothy and bubbly than my business page. So feel free to message me there, friend me there. I'm very interactive. Um, I absolutely adore all of this geared around um, sensuality, self-love, femininity, and um, it's never too late to really step into that part of yourself and share it with another human being. It can be the most exciting, fruitful, and abundant aspect of your relationship that keeps it hot and sassy and saucy and fun and exploring all of that with them. But you've got to have your well filled first. That cup needs to be ready to spill it over to everyone you come in contact with. Peace and blessings and besitos. Follow me on Facebook and see you on ChrissyFunk.com. And congratulations to Gerald. I just can't wait to dive my nose into that book. <laughs>